Welcome to a lesson on determining the least common multiple. In this video, we'll take a look at two methods for finding the least common multiple of two numbers. The least common multiple or lowest common multiple of two integers is the smallest positive integer that is a multiple of both integers. It's also the smallest number that can be divided by both integers without a remainder. So if we want to determine the least common multiple of four and six, one way is to just list multiples of four, list multiples of six, and then find the smallest number these two lists have in common. So if we list multiples of four or count by fours, we would have four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, and so on. If we start listing multiples of six or counting by sixes, we'd have six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, 30, 36, and so on. Now let's see if we can find any common multiples. Notice both lists contain 12 as well as 24, but 12 is the smallest multiple they have in common, and therefore the least common multiple of four and six is equal to 12. 12 is also the smallest number divisible by both four and six. Let's try one more using this method. To determine the LCM of six and eight, we'll list multiples of six and multiples of eight. But we just listed multiples of six. That was six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six, and so on. And now for multiples of eight, we'll count by eights. So we have eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two, forty, and so on. Now comparing the two lists, notice that the smallest number they have in common is 24, which means the least common multiple of six and eight is equal to 24. And again, this is the smallest number divisible by both six and eight. Now the method of writing out multiples is only practical for determining the LCM of small integers. As a result, we do have a different way to build the LCM of two integers by analyzing the prime factors. The LCM, or least common multiple, will be the product of the prime factors raised to the highest power of the prime factorization of the numbers. So for example, the prime factorization of 36 is two times two times three times three, which we can write as two squared times three squared. And the prime factorization of 54 is two times three times three times three, which we can write as two to the first times three to the third. So to build the LCM, we'll need to use the unique prime factors of two and three, but then we're gonna raise these to the highest power that we find on either of these prime numbers. So looking at two to the second and two to the first, we'll use two to the second, Then looking at three to the second and three to the third, we'll use three to the third which means the LCM of 36 and 54 is going to be two to the second times three to the third. The two to the second is equal to four. Three to the third is equal to 27. So the least common multiple of 36 and 54 is equal to 108. It's also true that two to the first times three to the second would be the greatest common divisor of 36 and 54, which would be 18. But in this video, we'll focus on LCM. We'll take a look at another example now and actually find the prime factorization as well as the LCM. So if we want to determine the LCM of 60 and 72, we'll start by determining the prime factorization of 60 and the prime factorization of 72. So we'll start by using six times 10. Neither of these are prime. Six is equal to two times three, which are both prime and 10 is equal to two times five, both prime. These circled factors would be the prime factorization of 60. And then for 72, let's use eight times nine to start. Neither of these are prime. Eight is equal to two times four, two is prime. Four is equal to two times two, so prime. And nine is equal to three times three, both prime. So the prime factorization of 60, notice how we have two factors of two, so we'll have two to the second, 
we have one factor of three and one factor of five. So I'll write three to the first times five to the first. And then for 72, notice we have three factors of two, so two to the third. Two factors of three, that's three to the second. And now that we have the prime factorization, we can build the LCM. The LCM will contain the prime factors two, three, and five. But we need to raise these to the highest power we find on these prime factors. So we'll use two to the third, because three is greater than two. We'll also use three to the second, since two is greater than one. And then we also have to use five to the first. So our LCM is two to the third times three to the second times five to the first. Well, this is going to be equal to two to the third is eight, three to the second is nine, five to the first is five. Well, nine times eight is 72 times five is 360. Our LCM is equal to 360, which means it's also the smallest number divisible by both 60 and 72. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.